Hello and welcome to Northeast Media Hub, the fastest growing digital media platform. I am Adalbert Khar with the latest Hub news. Be informed, be alert. The National People's Party, NPP, on Monday decided to keep the lion's share of 8 out of 12 cabinet berths in the newly formed Meghalaya Democratic Alliance, MDA2, while two berths will go to the United Democratic Party, UDP, and one each for the Hill State People's Democratic Party, HSPDP, and Bharatiya Janata Party, BJP. The People's Democratic Front, PDF, has been kept out of the cabinet. After chairing the first meeting of the alliance, Chief Minister's designate Conrad K. Sangma told reporters that all partners have agreed to call the alliance as the Meghalaya Democratic Alliance, MDA2. MDA 2.0. The alliance will be headed by him as its chairman. The newly elected legislators of the 11th Meghalaya Legislative Assembly took their oaths of office on Monday in the special session of Meghalaya Legislative Assembly. The oath-taking ceremony marks the beginning of the Assembly's first session. A total of 59 legislators took oath on Monday. New faces were also seen in the House, to mention a few like Maulai MLA, Bright Starwell Marbanyang, Nongstan MLA, Gabriel Walang, Maushin Road MLA, Methodius Dakar and others. Moving on, Prime Minister Narendra Modi, Home Minister Amit Shah and a couple of union ministers will attend the swearing-in ceremony of the new Chief Minister and their Council of Ministers in Meghalaya on Tuesday. BJP National President JP Nadda and some prominent leaders are also likely to attend these events in the state capital. The swearing-in ceremony of new Chief Minister Conrad Sangma and his Council of Ministers would be held in Shillong at 11am on Tuesday at Raj Bhavan. The Meghalaya football team, who clinched the silver medal at the 2023 Santosh Trophy, received Heroes Reception on Monday by the Kasi Students' Union, KSU, and the Federation of Kasi Jantia and Garo People, FKJGP, at Maulai Petrol Palm Shillong. Creating history, the Meghalaya football team, for the first time since attained its statehood, qualified for the final round of the prestigious Santosh Trophy. Meghalaya lost 2-3 to Karnataka in a very thrilling game in the final in Riyadh, Saudi Arabia, on Saturday. In view of Prime Minister Narendra Modi's visit to the Northeast, the Assam government has imposed a ban on drones and flying activities in Guwahati on March 7 and 8. Prime Minister Modi will visit Nagaland, Meghalaya and Tripura on March 7 and 8 to attend the swearing-in ceremonies of the newly elected chief ministers of the three states of the Northeast. Union Home Minister Amit Shah is also likely to accompany the Prime Minister. The Kamrup Metro Administration has imposed a ban on drones and flying activities in Guwahati on March 7 and 8 in view of Prime Minister Modi's visit. Himanta Biswa Sarma, the Chief Minister of Assam, announced on Monday that the High School Leaving Certificate HSLC examination has been cancelled in the centres where the cheating issue occurred. For the applicants from these centres, separate exams will be held. The Gwani Gram Higher Secondary Examination Centre in the Kachar district, where the cheating instances occurred, has been named as one of the testing sites. On the other hand, Union High School in the district had up to 50 mobile phones retrieved from HSLC candidates, which led to the cancellation of the exams at the centre as well. Both of these centres have been served with a show cause notice from the SEBA and they have three days to respond. Arunachal Pradesh is set to get its first High Court judge as the Supreme Court Collegium has recommended the appointment of Senior Advocate Kardak Ete as a judge of the Guwahati High Court. The SC Collegium, headed by Chief Justice D.Y. Chandrachut, recently recommended the appointment of Senior Advocate Kardak Ete as a judge of the Guwahati High Court. Ete, who served as the additional Advocate General of Arunachal Pradesh, will be the first advocate from the frontier state to be elevated as the judge of Guwahati High Court. Ete hails from Nahar Lagoon in Arunachal Pradesh and he belongs to a scheduled Tribe. Thank you for listening to Hub Podcast. For latest news and updates, follow us on www.hubnetwork.in. Download Hub News app in your mobile from Google Play Store and Apple App Store. For promotion and publicity, write to us at info at hubnetwork.in. Thank you. Kublai Shibon Mitela. 